Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. In this video we're going to look at pigs. What type of food do they need? Cleanliness, uh, what do we get from them? And how much can we make from them as well? Pretty much as much as possible we're going to look into it and see what kind of profit can we get from these pigs on a $200,000 budget and how many hours will it take us to actually get that money back the two hundred thousand dollars that we we'll, might spend uh in process of you know buying equipment buying pigs and the uh, pig uh, um whatever the holder so we're gonna look into all that and at the end i'll do some math and we'll figure out how long will it take us uh to uh farm the pigs and make that $200,000 back and if it's worth uh, the effort all right so let's start base right there it's gonna be good our animal pens let's uh, find pigs horses pigs oh, pigs pig enclosure I, I always forget this it's called pig enclosure all right remember that guys every time I say something like a uh, pig place or something like that correct me say no it's pig enclosure you a dummy all right uh don't call me dummy but it's all right you can't i don't care all right let's see oh uh, it's ninety thousand. Oh, that's pricey all right that's the cheapest one so let's go with it and uh okay so this place is, looks like it's good but i want to rotate it around like so all right and if i move it back a little i want to move it towards the trees maybe or, or maybe not like so now if I raise it down like how do I I don't have my okay uh, what is it uh, change placement height left control okay whoa 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 why, why am I going okay here we go that's down this is up I think this is good enough boom done it has been done now let's check it out oh I'm not there I have to run so this side looks good this side looks good like it's pretty much blends with it but this side has a hill here and a huge hill here we're gonna have to fix this and a hill here and of course these trees and a hill so and let's fix that the way I fixed that it, it's uh, using the landscape uh, tool okay see nice smooth hill and this is fine totally fine I mean you know this is where you can buy the pigs all right when it comes to buying pigs you can buy pigs from the uh, pig enclosure if you walk in up to this square here next to this door press R the animal dealer opens up and only shows you the pigs and uh, if we let's say move a couple of these um, uh, just one pig like eighteen hundred dollars per pig fee of a hundred dollars for delivery and then total of sixteen hundred dollars per pig with the delivery cost so this is one way you can buy it or you can uh, rent a animal transport transporter which is right here you can rent the cheapest one that can fit six pigs no not six i'm sorry is this big this is a cow all right this is the pig so nine pigs you can fit nine pigs and to rent it it's twelve hundred dollars and this one is three thousand four hundred dollars and you can fit uh, 21 pigs okay so when you pick up the trailer you want to go next is to this place the animal dealer this is where we have to go if you click on the animal if you don't know where it is click on the animal dealer and tag it right here tag place you can do so 
and look around and see right there that beam the green beam that is where I have to go okay so when you get to this place you want to park your trailer onto this box here open up your controls it says R open animal dialog right like so and uh, picks up the first uh, type of animal that you can buy so let's buy uh, I believe like what nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine if I try to buy the tenth one it won't let me it says the livestock trailer is full all right cool and confirm by his pressing space and there you go I am on my way back to my farm I'll see you there okay so I'm approaching the pig enclosure and I believe I have to be here but look at that steep hill I'm, I don't know should be all right right oh 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 there we go okay all right so let's check these pigs out oh okay so they're <laughs> moaning us look at that all right there's no way that I can look at them from this perspective like that no all right yeah, that is kind of weird all right so if I press R again when I'm next to that door I can now either double click or just keep pressing enter and move them from the Betty Max whatever it's called trailer onto the farm and either press space and confirm and there they are how much money do I have left 91,000 all right so I can buy a few more pigs but I have to consider uh, I want to make sure that I get the right amount and then start renting other equipment for uh, I need to rent equipment for the water for to pick up straw uh, I already have wheat I harvested right there so I'm gonna move this trailer out and bring that uh, harvester and dump them some wheat so that they can start eating so I've harvested this uh, field here and it had the uh, wheat on, on there so that's a plus I don't have to uh, seed you know wheat right away but I still do have to seed some more wheat um, but uh, since everything is close by the feeder pig feeder is really close by I don't have to like load it onto the trailer and then you know dump it in here like, it's just just wasting time I can just do this get close enough to the feeder open the uh, the pipe there and pigs are being fed with wheat all right so this is the reason why I don't uh, set up my uh, auto save to 5 or 10 or 15 minutes is because uh, issues like these I just figured out the issue here is I bought pig uh, black pig black and white pink and white pigs and I realized that I'm gonna have to do some math to figure out how many I mean four times uh, nine is 36 but then when they reproduce I'm gonna have to do the math and figure out um, you know how many pigs do, did I get and so on and so on so I decided well it's better if I choose just like one type of pigs and they'll always tell me the exact amount so that way I don't have to like you know do the math although you know I'm sometimes I'm horrible at math and I could probably make a mistake and you'll be like laughing what the hell man you suck at math you know so I don't want to embarrass myself so yeah I am going to restart the game because I didn't save it I'm gonna save it and I am going to redo this and buy myself uh, some of these pigs uh, like uh, black and white maybe or I don't know black no pink white this guy these guys some spots maybe like black and white pigs I'll buy those and uh, yeah so so this is the last trip that I'm making for the pigs on black and white pigs that I chose to replace all those variety of pigs just to go with one type of pig and if I look at the um, animals here how many I have I have 40 
and it's a lot easier for me to keep track of everything what's going on I need to rent a water tank so let's run this guy for a bit uh, he's cheap so that's not that's not bad at all okay so once you pick up the water tanker well there are multiple ways you can uh, fill up your water you can drive close by to these rivers or I think even the ocean here or uh, any of the lakes or ponds like this pond right here you can actually get close enough to it and uh, press the R button to fill up your uh, water tanker or or you can drive over to your neighbor on my way to my farm I noticed that this guy has a water tank now look at this if I if I open up my uh, controls look at my controls out to the left it's gonna say R to uh, fill water there you go it just popped up start, uh, actually it says start filling if I press R it's gonna start filling so it's gonna let me start filling even though it this area the, this land here is not mine so this is good for those uh, who don't have enough land uh, on their property to place a water tank even though water tank is actually cheap it's uh, where's the right here it's only five thousand dollars but just so you know that you can fill your water anywhere uh, even up this road if you go up this road there's a water tank I can actually see it from here a little bit there's a water tank right uh, next to that tree with that uh, um, in between those uh, power lines and the tree to the left of the tree there's a water tank just like this one uh, you can uh, also, also refill water but it's that actually it's hassle but this is on the way to your farm if you have the farm in this direction uh, you can uh, fill up the water or you can fill up the water on your farm as well which I'm going to show you in a, in a second if you play in a beginners mode and you own this farm all you have to do is drive up to this uh, uh, area or whatever this con contract and contraction is this uh, thing here the, the blue pipe uh, you can also fill up your tank as you can see the, under the controls are start filling you can also fill up the yeah on this yeah to this area right here and as soon as this uh, thing starts overload pops up press I and you're just gonna have to wait there for like a few seconds for it to fill up mm. You can actually see the water rising inside this uh, water trout or whatever it's called. Pigs are noisy. Right, here we go. So it filled up. Let's check out how much this. Oh, okay. Almost full. Wow. I can just do another trip and that's it. I'm done with this rental. If you just like to mess around and uh, waste your time or whatever, you can actually drive up to this pond, which is on your, on your farm. Oh, this waterfall here and open up your controls as you can see you can actually start filling up water right here as long as you're close by to it I mean you don't have to drive into it but even if you drive into this pond here don't worry you're not gonna get stuck you can actually drive into it and this water is actually solid oh, most of it is solid underneath as you can see it's actually it's like you're floating above the 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 ground here that is probably soft enough to get your uh, tractor stuck but you cannot get stuck because this is a uh, magical uh, tractor it's like a, you know this is like a magical world where tractors do not get stuck inside the water uh, they're like it's impossible so you don't have to worry about it uh, they don't get damaged if you hit them like I can drive as fast as I can and hit this like building as you can see nothing happens to the building nothing happens to the to my truck it is awesome like this this game is unbelievable like everything is pretty much immortal in this game I wish I was immortal so I don't get damaged you know but what are you gonna do when it comes to picking up straw for pigs two options either rent or buy 
Uh, uh, there's another option which I'm, gonna, uh, which I'm gonna talk about a little later when it comes to another method of uh, picking up straws and giving it to the pigs as a bedding uh, you would have to have a tractor that can uh, fit the uh, that can pick up the uh, front loader and with the front loader you would buy a universal bucket and that way you can pick up and clean uh, pig, uh, pigs uh, feeder or trout whatever it's called so since I do need both of these types and uh, none of my um, tractors are able to uh, be customized to be able to uh, have a uh, loader attached to it I will have to sell one of these uh, tractors and then buy another tractor which do the ones that I can uh, customize so I'm gonna sell one of these tractors and I'll show you what I mean okay so I sold one of my tractors and now all I have to do is go on to the cheapest uh, type of tractor small tractors and click on the fended that's the cheapest one and that I know that I can customize click on customize and where it says front loader attacher just click yes or make sure that it says yes which is fifteen hundred dollars uh, you can also adjust engine setup but it costs seventeen thousand for you know stronger engine but I don't need it for the pigs and so I won't need that strong of an engine um, I don't need any wheels everything is fine there you go all I have to do is just click buy and I am all set there all right so next thing is that I covered earlier is buy either this or this type of uh, attacher and I don't have to well, do I have to customize I can customize if I want to uh, like let's say maybe green because the truck is kind of greenish whitish and buy that and then the bucket as well customize that maybe to green as well and there you go all I have to do is jump in the truck pick up my uh, first the uh, front loader like so and then I can attach a uh, bucket now all I have to do is pick up the uh, loading wagon like so and if you haven't figured out how to use a loading wagon by now uh, all you have to do is press V to lower the uh, middle section there press B to turn it on and just drive over the uh, anything that can the loading wagon can pick up and load uh, if you look at the to the left I mean right side uh, lower corner there it says straw 1700 so far picked up once you're done pick, picking up the straw all you have to do is drive over to this corner of the pig, pigs encounter and as soon as you see that start overloading I button you can start overloading or loading out and if you pay attention to the pig encounter there straw has been filled up and should be uh, full 12,000 okay now in this scenario since I have some uh, straw left uh, over I would actually dump this close by here so I can always use a bucket here because I, I don't want to use this uh, um, loading wagon uh, every day to lease it because uh, I'm as I said like, as I keep mentioning that I am on a budget here I, I I would like to own it but then this one is actually un unnecessary to own it since I have the tractor and the bucket and I'll show you how to uh, use a bucket just as soon as I unload this if you press right uh, I mean left control button and I you can unload your uh, straw anywhere on your land or uh, harvest your either wheat or barley or oats and um, all you have to do on to 
get onto the field with the bucket and pick up the uh, straw like so boom done and drive the straw over to the this area and dump it out now it won't work right now because oh it does a little bit because they used a little bit but yeah so all you have to do is just dump it out, dump it out a little and uh just keep uh, keep on it every day and then you don't have you won't have to use a or rent loading wagon but the rest of it you could just dump it here again onto this pile here uh, make sure that you plant a right seed by pressing Y I can switch seeds now it's wheat now it's barley now it's oat now it's canola this is the type of seed that I want to seed all I have to do is uh, press H to hire a worker and he's gonna do the rest of the work now my, my next objective would be to focus on the corn did he get stuck again yes that cedar is in his way all right i'm gonna have to uh get rid of the cedar he's the cedar is empty right now so there we go it's out of your way go hey lady come on lady she won't go she won't go all right i'm gonna have to reset her i just figured something out as i was uh trying to get this uh fertilizer or box extra box to my uh, field and I couldn't pick it up with this bucket tool I actually wanted to put it on top of the uh, this uh, uh, corn uh, planter and uh, you know drive both of them uh, back to my farm and I flipped it over and when I get close enough to it look well, look what happens it's filling up my bucket and disappeared it fills up my bucket with the fertilizer so what the heck like what am I gonna do with this like how do I this is interesting I want to see if I can load a fertilizer from the bucket since I have filled up my bucket with the fertilizer somehow uh, I wonder if I get close enough will I be able to load the fertilizer onto the uh, nope it won't do it it won't open up the uh let's see if i controls turn on solar okay so it does not it does unload but does not there's no if i press r button usually if you press r button it's, it's gonna fill up hmm it doesn't fill up if i grab this and drive over it like so and then flip they're gonna do anything nope I messed this up didn't I all right I'm gonna drop this fertilizer here <coughs> there's a fertilizer on the ground okay so I managed to drop it next to the uh, fertilizer that it's on the ground will it pick it up it doesn't pick up the fertilizer all right so that's a loss right there I lost some fertilizer but it's all right it's no big deal all right let's try this trick so I unloaded the fertilizer and seeds out of the fertile uh, cedar and if I drive the uh, seed or close to the fertilizer box that opens up the, the box opens up all right so let's see if I can fill up that fertilizer with the bucket if that one that thing is opened up when those when the box opens up the or I mean cover of the fertilizer opens up ah oh, oh my god I'm a freaking genius I'm a freaking genius look at that I solved it I solved the problem this is so cool all right okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use this field for the corn because corn is the main food that pigs need and I want to use the biggest uh, field here for the corn and I'm gonna hire a worker oh so it's gonna fertilize and but the only bad thing about this is that after I uh, harvest the corn I'll have to plow this field because this type of uh, equipment does not uh, cultivate 
for me so I have to do my own type of cultivating before I seed like this all right corn is ready to be harvested and I need a different type of header for this uh, harvester but I wonder if you don't know me that well I wonder if this header can harvest corn well let's find out I'm gonna turn it on and go over it and okay it doesn't harvest it all right so i went ahead and rented myself a corn header for the harvester so next option would be to for me to rent this which i did here we are i am harvesting with the one with the 3.4 meters um corn harvester and uh as soon as this, uh, as soon as I'm done with this field, I'm gonna fill up the pig trout. Now, when you're done harvesting your corn, you wanna right, out, right away uh, hire somebody to seed uh, new corn on the field while you get uh, ready, or when you move your uh, harvester over to next fields to harvest. And I almost forgot that. Um, Actually, yeah, I almost forgot that uh, I have to cultivate or plow this uh, field before I can seed a new uh, corn seeds, plant new corn seeds onto this field because this, uh, this seeder does not cultivate, only seeds and fertilizes. And in the meanwhile, while harvester is harvesting canola, Let's check uh, again our pigs and straw. So it's down a, a bit. So instead of like renting a loader, uh, loading wagon, uh, this is another method that you can that I showed you earlier. I just want to show you that this works actually. If you use your bucket, fill it up with straw, drive it over to this area like so. I just dump it down into their um, what you call the pig uh, area there but I've already forgot what's the name of the this enclosure that's what it is it's called enclosure for God's sakes there you go it's full all I have to do is dump the rest of it onto the field here there you go and I also can use this bucket after the harvest is done harvesting the wheat. I can use this bucket to uh, pick up the straw from the ground. That's why I, I, I actually planted these uh, the wheat uh, onto this field, so it's close by to this pile here of straw. So I can pick it up with the bucket, you know, off the ground, drive it over here, and dump it onto this uh, uh, pile here okay so after giving them corn wheat and canola my uh, production rate is at 75 percent and reproduction rate is at down to four hours and 45 minutes now how to get a canola i mean i'm sorry not canola uh potatoes and sugar beets uh, i promise i'm going to show you that and i'm about to show you that but first, we have to look at the cleanliness. Cleanliness is uh, uh, at 52%. Uh, that this also plays the role in the production. All right, so we have to make sure that every 24 hours um, we clean uh, pigs. Uh, what you call an encounter here? But how do we clean the pigs encounter? Well, we need that uh, bucket, and we need the tractor that can attach the bucket with the front loader and all you have to do is drive over to this area which is the feeding area or uh, feeding trout uh, I'm probably mispronouncing it and all you have to do is pick up all the stuff that is on this box next to the feeding trout all you, all you have to do is pick it up like so keep picking it up it is a little tricky sometimes 
but this is actually food it's not dirt or or some kind of it's actually their food that they i, I don't know threw it out or something because they were like angry or something they got in a fight or who knows like a pigs are dirty anyway so you know when you think about it like they uh they just always have their nose in the, in the mud and stuff and so they throw stuff around you know so yeah that's how you uh grab the stuff off the ground to clean it and all you have to do is dump it back into the trout all right don't dump it anywhere else but into the trout like so game hour not my hour like real hour but in game hour which is right now 1007 um, when i was uh, cleaning this it was like 9 13 so i had to wait for it to update to show you this cleanliness that it's uh, at or 98 but you know there's some more dirt there because of that one hour that i waited if i clean that up and wait another hour i should like uh, pretty much what i'm trying to say this cleanliness will get to 100 percent eventually uh if you keep up cleaning all the time or every 24 hours so water is good straw is good now after you do the cleaning right this is where you get the free potatoes and sugar beets remember i had zero there and i have 31 and this is the trick that actually makes your product production productivity to 100 percent right now it's 99 but it will get to 100 percent once the cleanliness is at 100 percent and the reproduction rate gets down to three hours and third i mean three hours and 30 minutes yet okay so i know i can get eight pigs a day okay in 24 hours i can sell a thousand dollars per pig and then deduct hundred dollars from each pig for the delivery cost without the trailer profit would be from the pigs so far seven thousand two hundred dollars but wait i'm not done okay seven thousand two hundred dollars where's the lease expenses now we have to deduct the lease expenses from the seven thousand two hundred dollars all right so i looked at the today's lease expenses and this is my least lease expense vehicle lease uh, costs for today 2668 and then i realized there is a property maintenance as well and there's something else here looks like it a wage payment for the uh, hired workers so i forgot about that as well this is how much i paid to hire workers to seed and uh, fertilize and uh, what we call the harvest corn and harvest other uh, grains comes to total of 4,145 so 7,200 right minus 4,945 ends up being uh, 2,255 dollars that is my actual profit a day 2,255 dollars how many days game days will it take me to make my uh, money back which is uh, at this point hundred hundred sixty four thousand dollars all right hundred sixty four thousand dollars so how I would do this is I would uh, say hundred sixty four thousand dollars all right minus i mean not minus divide by 2255 i would get uh 72.72 uh, 72. so i will round that out to 73 so that's 73 days game days what i'm trying to figure out is each field takes about two you know to seed and to harvest so 20 40 minutes total for that and then 10 about 10 to 15 minutes to seed and harvest that area 10 to 15 that area 10 to 15 that's like 45 minutes so 40 minutes and 45 minutes total of there that's uh one hour and 25 minutes to consider of picking up the 
straws, putting them back into the uh, pig uh, encounter here, cleaning uh, the pig uh, truck, I mean feeding truck here, and all that stuff, and, and, and going back to the store, buying the uh, fertilizers and the uh, seeds. So yeah, it's gonna be closer to two hours, to be, uh, to be honest closest to two hours so let's say it's about two hours of gaming from now on per 24 hours of game that I will have to play so in three game days I believe times two right about two that's 146 hours of my hours are they uh, profitable no I don't see them uh, be, as being profitable I mean about 146 hours of my hours not gaming hours my hours that is a lot of hours that you will have to play and that's on pace they're not worth it thanks for watching and check out my next video on I believe it's going to be sheeps. Let's find out if sheeps are profitable at all.